What is up, Puro Game? It's your boy, David Matt, guys. Welcome back to another video. I hope everyone's having a blessed day, guys. But before we get started with today's video, just wanted to say big shout out. Thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video. So guys, my friends at Ariat sent me some more gear. Can't wait to show you guys what they sent me. As you can tell, guys, I have this uh, blue, kind of like a, like a teal blue color. Um, this design, guys, is called uh, the Seder. It's a Seder blue, I guess. Um, the Ariat Rope Shield design. So as you can tell, it's their um, their area design, but like in like a rope style, which is pretty cool. And then the, their logo in front, super soft, guys. Make sure you guys um, go ahead and check their uh, their clothes out. Links will be down below in the description. I believe you get 10% off when you use my link. So take advantage, guys. Super cool design. That's why I got this one. Let's go. So guys, I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm I'm a little I'm a little mad slash sad right now. But as you can tell, the thumbnail and title guys, um, they actually broke into. If you guys didn't know, guys, we have another Michoacana here in Norco, California. We just opened up about four months ago. They broke in about two days ago, guys. And originally, I was gonna come here in the morning and kind of you know tell you guys what happened, give you guys a little story time. And uh, this morning around 6:25, I get a call from the sheriff's department. And uh, it turns out they broke in again here in Norco. So that's twice in one week, guys. That's crazy. What's going on right now? And on top of that, so the first time they broke in, guys, they broke in this small um, window right here, which is, you know, it's not that bad. It's kind of, it's pretty cheap to, to fix. But this time today, they actually broke in, like I said, guys, at 625, and they broke the big window. So guys, if you guys are going to break in here, at least break the small one for me, please. Okay? I'm just kidding, guys. No, I'll just... All jokes aside, don't don't break any window. But this is probably gonna cost like I'm, you know, I'm not trying to like say numbers here, but a window like this guys goes for like a thousand dollars. But anyways, I want to give you guys a little story time what happened. So guys, the first time I'm gonna try to make this as more, you know, as clear as possible because I don't want to confuse you guys. But um, the first time they broke in, guys, um, it was about four of them right here. They parked on this side, so the camera couldn't even get the car or anything, you know. So they parked on this side. And if you can tell on the video, guys, they were actually like right here for at least like, I don't know, I see like two minutes kind of thinking about what they were gonna do. You know, kind of like a little, a little skeptical, but they did have like a little sledgehammer like this and they, they just kind of like knocked it they shattered the glass and they just kind of kicked it in and in the video they actually start crawling in and they want to stay like super low show them show them how they were like, crawling they were like they were like And the funny part is that, because the reason why they're doing that, guys, is because they don't want the sensor to pick them up and make the sirens go off. But um, it's kind of stupid because they're gonna go off regardless. So yeah, I think the first time it was about three of them, three or three or four of them. They come in and they go straight. It's, it's kind of weird, guys. I'm not saying that they know me, but I feel like they kind of kind of been watching or something, you know? Because that happened in in our uh, our first location over there in Rialto. And it looks like the same people or like the same organization. I'm not sure. I don't know if they watch my videos or they know who I am or I don't know what it is, but they kind of all look the same. So they come and they go straight straight to the to the kitchen, to the office, and they try to find the money, try to go through like sodas and stuff like that. But um, like I said, we don't leave anything because you know we already learned our lesson the first time. So yeah, guys, like I said, the first time they, they come in, they start sliding. They're like super careful the first time. Um, and I'll tell you guys why because the second time they did not care. They had no respect guys a big tip for all, all business owners um, If you guys have registers leave them open like this This one right here is closed right now, but just leave it like that. So when they come in they're like okay Nothing's in there and they leave you know Okay 
But if it's closed, you're gonna think money's in there. They're gonna rip the whole thing off, and they're just gonna cost you more money. You don't want that, okay? So come on. Our first location, we used to lock the door right here, the kitchen door. So this would be locked, right? And then over there, they had to break the door and like just mess up the whole door, guys. So my advice is just leave it open. So that way, just, they just don't break anything. And there's no expenses, you know. So they didn't break the door this time. They come in. And they, they like, you know, it's like three of them with hoodies and stuff like that. Hey, Mom. So, there's not too much to explain, guys, but they just come in, you know, in their hoodies. And they go straight to the office. I think they did, did take like some coins. Um, oh, you know what? They did steal our uh, our iPad for our music. And it turns out, guys, I just asked my parents right now. They actually took about $200. And not like our money that like our our, um, our money that we're making, but like our change money. You know what I'm saying? Like ones, you know, our five, stuff like that. They kind of just took everything. But um, they go straight to the office. And they, they already kind of know where to go, you know. I feel like these, these, these uh, I guess you call them robbers or something. They kind of do this for a living, guys. Ratas. They, they, yeah, they, they, these rats. They, they already know what they're doing, so they, they look in the places where they, they know there's money, you know what I'm saying? So they come in the office, they try to check for like coins and stuff like that. They didn't take anything too much, you know, too bad. I guess just the $200 in the. What, they robbed 200? 200, no? They robbed much more. And that's pretty much it for the first break-in, guys. So now, today, oh my god, guys, these guys did not have no respect. They literally parked right in front of the business in a white BMW. So guys, pay attention to this one right here. They, they, they parked in a white BMW. I'm not sure if it's stolen, but we are going to check like the complex cameras and see if we can get a plate number. But anyways, they parked right in front of the business. And it's four of them with a big sledgehammer this time. They come in, they break the freaking window like nothing, and they jump right in. They start running to the same exact position. They check those registers, nothing's in there. They go straight to the kitchen. Honestly, guys, I'm not sure if it was the same people, but I, I honestly, I, I don't know what's going on, but they go straight to the kitchen. Um, as you can tell in the video, guys, they do not care. They turn on the lights. That was actually the first. Every time they break in, guys, they just keep the light on, you know? But these guys, were, they should just turn it on. You know, they're all masked up. Guys, make sure you guys comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I don't know what the hell is going on. Any Do you guys advice, think any it, advice? Because you know we need it right now. You know what I'm saying? And comment below if you guys think it's the same people that are watching our videos, or is it just random people? 
Guys, the person, so guys, the people that broke in, if you guys are watching this, I don't know what you guys are thinking of taking. We take everything, okay? We don't leave any money here. We just leave coins and stuff like that, you know, so. And if you're gonna break in, like we said, Break the break the small yeah. window, not the big ones. Small one, and be careful because I think I'm gonna sleep in here for the past, you know, the, these past days I'm gonna sleep in here. So you know, if I'm in here, you gonna get the thing. <laughs> so guys, this is the window that they broke, the big one, right here. And they actually broke uh, our our neighbor's window as well. Check it out. Crazy. But make sure you guys check us out, guys. If you guys don't know, we are located here in Norco, California. 1825 Havner Avenue, Suite G. And uh, yeah, guys, come check us out. We got paletas, we got ice cream. Right now, I must, you know, get to work and start making a lot of ice cream right now because it is Saturday. Saturday morning, we gotta get that window fixed ASAP. And uh, yeah, guys, they didn't take anything. They didn't take no paletas, no ice cream. If I was a burglar, I'd probably take a little paleta on the way out, to be honest. But uh, they didn't. Like I said, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's video. Sorry, this video is not like a like a Wiley vlog or you know something like that. But um, I kind of just wanted to share what happened. But yeah, guys, uh, for all my business owners, make sure you guys are careful. You know, lock your doors. You know, take the money. Don't leave anything here. And that's gonna end today's video, guys. Again, before I forget, big shout out and thanks to Ariat for sponsoring this video. Like, subscribe. Peace out.